it's your favorite curvy vegan Gina Marie from veganwithcurves.com welcome to my channel I am so happy to be back on YouTube and this time I promise you I'm here to stay so if you are new here be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell as well for today's video we are cooking up an oyster mushroom jackfruit pot roast and we're going to be pressure cooking that pot roast in a ninja foodie appliance now for those of you who don't know what a ninja foodie is it's a multi-cooker machine, so it sautés, it bakes, it broils, it dehydrates even, it air fries, and it pressure cooks. It's like an all-in-one machine. Now, if you don't have a Ninja Foodie, that's totally okay. You can find instructions on my website, veganwithcurves.com, where I show you how to cook this over the stove, uh, in a regular oven, or in a slow cooker. Again, all the alternative instructions are on my website, veganwithcurves.com. I will put the link below in the show notes. And so without further ado, let's get into the recipe. Okay, first we're going to boil our jackfruit to remove the briny taste out of it. This just helps give it a more neutral taste so that it can absorb the flavors of the pot roast better. After you are done boiling it, dry it with a paper towel to remove as much moisture from the jackfruit as you possibly can. It should look something like this. Next, we're gonna turn our Ninja Foodi to the saute function to medium heat. And we're gonna add some olive oil, onions, garlic, jackfruit, and oyster mushrooms. We're gonna saute these down for two to three minutes until the vegetables soften. Then we're gonna add some seasonings. I'm using sea salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and black pepper. And we're also gonna add some vegan, I hope I'm saying this right, but vegan Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, you can make fun of me in the comments below if you want to. <laughs> we're gonna add all our seasonings to the pot with the vegetables and saute for about five minutes until the vegetables are fully coated. Next, we're gonna take some vegetable broth and mix it with some cornstarch and we're gonna pour that cornstarch mixture into our pot with our vegetables along with some tomato paste. And we're gonna mix that together until fully combined. Now this helps make our pot roast, the sauce of our pot roast, really thick and gravy-like. Next, we're gonna add in some chopped carrots and celery, mushrooms, potatoes, and dried herbs. Mix herbs together with vegetables and then add bay leaves and rosemary on top. Place the pressure cooker lid over your Ninja Foodi and seal it. Make sure the knob is turned to seal. Press the pressure button and it should automatically be set to high. If not, set your pressure to high and set the time for 15 minutes. Press the start button and the pressure should take anywhere between eight to 10 minutes to rise. Once it's done, you wanna leave the pressure to release for about 10 minutes and then once the 10 minutes has elapsed, you wanna turn the knob to let it vent and release the remaining pressure, and then you remove the lid and you see how delicious this looks. Don't forget to remove the rosemary and the bay leaves. Serve with fresh parsley, serve on its own, serve with extra potatoes like I did because I love potatoes, or you can serve with uh, some side veggies or a salad. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that recipe. And again, if you want the full ingredient list, as well as the full instructions, be sure to visit veganwithcurves.com. I will put the direct link to this recipe in the show notes below. If you enjoyed this recipe, do me a huge favor and give it a thumbs up, leave your comments below. Or if you didn't like this recipe, hey, give it a thumbs down and you're also free to leave your comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And I'm going to leave you with a recap of this recipe. And I will see you next time. Peace and blessings.